Welcome to this video on the Health and Safety file in Health and Safety Expert. In this video, I'll show you how to edit the Health and Safety file. I'll also show you how to preview, print and export the document. Click the Health and Safety file tab. The Health and Safety file must contain relevant information about the project, which should be taken into account when any construction work or any maintenance work is carried out on the building after the current project is finished. It is used to ensure health and safety during any subsequent work such as maintenance, cleaning, refurbishment and demolition. The file is only required for projects involving more than one contractor. The principal designer has primary responsibility for preparing the file and reviewing, updating and revising it as the project progresses. If they continue to the end of the project they must pass the completed file to the client to keep. If the principal designer's appointment finishes before the end of the project, the file must be passed to the principal contractor for the remainder of the project. The principal contractor must then take on the responsibility for reviewing, updating and revising it and passing it to the client when the project finishes. It's essential that you review and edit the text of the health and safety file document because each health and safety file is unique and specific to the job for which it is prepared. It therefore requires you to enter your own bespoke text. The health and safety file is divided into eight sections. Use the navigation bar on the left to jump between the different sections. Each section can be completed by typing directly into the box. Go through step by step, completing each box and making any changes as needed. If you think it would be useful to save a particular paragraph to use in other projects, click the Save As button the one with the floppy disk icon. Type in a name for the paragraph. You can then set the paragraph to be the default in future projects. Click OK. You can then select a previously saved paragraph by clicking the Select Another Paragraph button. It's the one with the folder icon. Once you've reviewed each of the sections, you may want to preview, export or print the health and safety file. The Home tab on the toolbar at the top of the screen contains the buttons you need for previewing, exporting and printing all of the documents in Health and Safety Expert. Click Preview to see the complete Health and Safety file. This is handy for checking the document before printing. Double click on the bar at the top of the preview to make it full screen. Navigate the document by scrolling down the page or by clicking the Next and Previous Page buttons on the top toolbar. You can zoom in by holding down the control key on your keyboard and using your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Or use the zoom buttons on the toolbar. Click the Page Layout button to view two pages side by side. You can print directly from the preview if you're ready to. Alternatively, click X to close the preview and return to the Health and Safety Policy tab. Click Export to export the health and safety file to a range of different file types. This is handy if you want to email the policy to someone. Firstly, select the output format, then decide whether you want to include a cover sheet. The cover sheet can include just the selected documents, all the documents in the project, or the selected documents plus any previously published documents. Look at the output folder to check you're happy with the save location. Browse and select another folder if necessary. The health and safety file has been pre-selected for you, but you may want to select other documents to export at the same time. Once you're happy with your selections, click export. The folder containing the health and safety file will open up in Windows Explorer. You can then use the document in the usual way, for example, attach it to an email. If you want to print a hard copy of the health and safety file, click print. Select the printer from the drop down box. As with the export, you can decide whether to include a cover sheet, select any additional documents you want to print, then click print. So that's how to edit, export and print your health and safety file. Over to you.